Praise God, praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I pray that you are having a blessed day in the Lord. Hallelujah. Give him praise, give him glory, and give him honor. Isn't it something? Because um, I don't know, I'm sure a lot of you follow me. Um, praise God, praise God, especially on not just on Facebook, but YouTube, Tumblr, um, all the social media sites. Praise God, hallelujah. And isn't it crazy? Because I actually said, I said, I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna get on here. I'm consecrating myself. And I am. But it's amazing how we really don't run nothing. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I feel the power of God up in here because I'm on one. I'm telling y'all now I'm on one. Hallelujah. Because I'm getting ready for this conference. And I'm telling you, I, I mean, not trying to clown. You know, I'm not trying. To, I'm never one trying to, um, how could I say that? Try to um, be arrogant and all that stuff. That's just not my persona. But anyway, what I'm trying to say is that we have our little plans and God be like, uh, uh. You know, kingdom business is 24-7, 365 days a year. I had to learn that with 2014. I, I, I just finished the class when God had told me to start them, right? And I never forget, I got online. I said, I'm going vacay. And that was in the Bahamas. Well, in the Bahamas, on the ship, I ended up preaching to this lady and her husband. And I never forget. And I don't know why I'm going here, but I'm going here. And so next thing I know, I was getting some breakfast and me and her, we sat down for breakfast and we we're talking and she perceived of who I was. And I was like, well, this one is anointed because the only way you could perceive it, if you got it, I just said something. And so long story short, she said, can you come to my room and pray for my husband? And it was so crazy because I was with two other women. And do you understand? Let me tell you what happened. We went to the room and the other two women came with me. She said, hold on. She was bold, bold older woman. She said, I don't mean no harm, but y'all two can't come in here, only her. I was like, whoa. And, and I ain't gonna lie, I was shocked because her persona, uh, what am I saying? It's time to be about our father's business. Too many vacating, too many straying. And that's what this whole thing is about. Um, it's, I got so much, on, on, I got so much, I can't look at me. So let me just stick to the thing at hand. I got a lot in me, y'all. I'm serious. I'm telling you. I could feel God moving right now in the conference ain't even till Monday. He, he, he's been getting me ready mentally, physically, spiritually. And, and hold on, it ain't about Deanna. I'm nothing. I, I'm nothing. But what, but what what we do do when we do this for real is we lead you to the Father. C -c Come go with me as I go to the Father, as I go before the Father, as I ask God to just use me. Hallelujah. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. But let me tell you something because I got something very strong that I have to say tonight. As a matter of fact, I'll probably be getting on here two or three times because I'm so full. Hallelujah. That's why he, because I wasn't going to get up on here. I was like, I'm consecrating. God was like, Deanna, you, you, you better do what I said. I was like, okay. So this is what, oh, this is going to be so good. Some of you not going to like it. Some of you not going to understand it. But God says it's time for the church to act like the church. Quit, quit acting like these witches and warlocks running stuff, God say. Hallelujah. So let me go ahead and tell you. And like I say, some of y'all not going to understand. Y'all going to be like, oh, I don't know if I could do that. I will. I'm. Oh, I've already started it. Oh, yes. You see, something happened tonight. Something happened earlier today. And, and I said something. Oh, yes, I did. I don't mind telling you. I said something. And I said, now nah, I'm going to watch who it is because it's about three of them. It's out of three of them that did it. So when it fall on, who is going to fall on? Yeah, I, I, I said it. I sure did. I sure did. Oh, hallelujah. Time out for witches and warlocks. Time out for the evil people. Time out. Y'all going to quit playing with people of God. Hallelujah. We got to go back to the old way. Let me go ahead because I'm getting excited. I'm getting excited because I, I, I'm sick of them. And when I say I'm sick of them, that means, guess what? God is, is stronger, is more powerful than the enemy. And everybody talk about the enemy more than God these days. It's like y'all scared. Quit being scared. God has given you all authority, Luke 10, 19, over any enemy. Hallelujah. So let me go ahead. Thus said the Lord, remember Elijah cursed those children. Y'all sitting up there letting people mess with y'all. Y'all sitting up there taking what the enemy do. It is time for you to open your mouth and say whatever God tells you to say. Now, hold on. Here's, here's the tricky part. It got to be approved by God. That means, hold on. We don't wish death on nobody. But let me tell y'all what happened. Second Kings 2.23. So any y'all that, oh, that's not of God. Oh, yes, it is. Yes, it is. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. So 2 Kings 2.23, and it says, And he went up from thence into Bethel, and as he was going up on the way, there came forth little children out of the city and mocked him and said unto him, Go up, thou bald hey, Go up, thou bald hey. You know how people like to mock the women of God and the men of God? Well, that's what they were doing to Elijah. So so let me continue because I don't want to hear nothing. Oh, yes, it's on. 
Second Kings 24, the next verse, it says, it says this, it says, um, and he turned back and looked on them and cursed them in the name of the Lord. And there came forth two she bears out of the wood and tear 40 and two children of them. And that was the word of God by God as far as being expired, inspiring. Praise God. Hallelujah. So that's my foundation of scriptures. What am I getting ready to say? Stop letting people play with y'all. It's time to open your mouth and whatever happened, happened. Yeah, I said it like I'm saying it. Too much. Y'all let too much slide, says God. It shows right here. He cursed them in the name of the Lord. It has to be with scripture, meaning that God says, vengeance is mine, saying the Lord, right? So guess what? God, do what you got to do to him. Hallelujah. You ain't got to say, God, I wish blah, 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 because now that's, that, that's going too far. That's witchcraft. But in the name of God, you say, hallelujah, that vengeance is yours. Avenge me. You see, David used to pray them prayers. Oh, come on, somebody. And the church have forgotten it. So now y'all letting everything slide. Everybody say stuff. You ain't got to get nobody back. But what it is time to do, thus said the Lord, it's time to speak. And if you got to curse them, curse them. Yeah, I said how I said when I said it. I know people are not going to agree with this because I'm radical. I don't care. I don't care. I'm going to say, I don't care. The enemy don't care. Y'all sitting up there playing patty cake, patty cake, and they tearing people up. The devil is a lie. So guess what? Hallelujah. Oh, oh, y'all think it's a game? Let me tell you something. I used to do it when I first started. I would say things, and people would say, Deanna, you know, because I never forget, and, and I'm going here. And I've said this several times, but I'm going to say it again. Something had happened. I don't want to go through the whole story because, you know, but this woman, um, it was like six girls coming in the house to fight me. This was years ago. I was in Louisiana. Long story short. And I should have been obedient because when I was brushing my teeth, I had the door open. And I heard the Holy Spirit say, go close the door. But you know how you think you're tripping? I wasn't tripping. They was up in there. Knives, chains, rusty knives. So they weren't trying to say hello. So believe it or not, the authority in me. I'm trying to, I'm, I'm trying, hold on. I'm not trying to be messing it. I'm trying to show you authority. So what I did, I said, well, y'all hold on. I walked in the back room. I got the bat. Yes, I sure did. I sure did. Yes, I did. I did. And I said, now here's the deal. I know y'all know me as Apostle Deanna Dixon. I said, but in two seconds, I'm about to transform. And I start swinging that back like I was trying to test somebody's heads off. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I just wanted to get them out the house. I didn't want to try to kill nobody. But if they came in, in, in that direction, oh, be, oh well. Whatever. So anywho, as I was just trying to get him out the house, because that was the same day my grandfather was being buried, so I wasn't trying to do all that. Y'all know what I'm saying? And one of the women, she took the bat, and somehow the force hit me in the stomach. Y'all better listen to what I'm saying. A month later, that woman dropped dead. My aunt called me. You know that lady? And it's going to sound cold, but I'm telling you, because, and I was like in my 30s. I'm 51 now. And my aunt say that lady died. And I never forget. I say, so be it. And she say, how dare you say that? I say, so be it. <laughs> Y'all not understanding. That's what's wrong with the body of Christ. Y'all have forgotten your authority. If God render judgment, then you render it to hallelujah to his name. Y'all stop playing with people. Hallelujah. Stop playing with the devil. Stop playing with the enemy. Hallelujah. God says, I, I, I'll be a friend to your friend and an enemy to your enemies. Y'all stop that playing. That's why the enemy is winning in this hour because you have forgot your authority. Hallelujah, there it is. You got to bring back your authority. Elijah knew his authority. Elijah said, oh, y'all want to clown somebody. Um, I curse you in the name of the Lord. Since you want to clown the prophet of God, then guess what? Whatever God allowed, because guess what? Elijah didn't send them bears. Mm, who sent them bears? Who conformed them bears to eat those 42 children up? Y'all sitting up there playing. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So understand exactly what I'm saying. Because you know y'all like to get things. Oh, apostle saying curse people. Yes, I am. But in the name of the Lord. You want to play crazy? I'm I'm going I'm to I'm play crazy back with you. God, get them. Y'all better stop playing. Stop playing with the enemy, God. See, I'm telling you. And y'all notice I, I'm really. Stop. The enemy getting away with too much stuff. Use your authority, said the Lord. And that's going to stop stuff. Y'all think I'm playing? I cannot tell y'all the situation. But when it happened, I'm going to let y'all know. Because something happened today. And I'm not the one. And three people, three people, it, it, 
So I just prayed a prayer. I sure did. And whoever it fall upon, I'ma know who did it. Oh yes, oh yes, I ain't playing, I ain't playing, and I suggest you stop playing with them too. Y'all know what time it is? Persecution coming. New world order coming. Y'all still playing with the devil, huh? You still playing with these witches, huh? You still playing with these warlocks, huh? Because they're not playing with us. They trying to kill us. They trying to steal. They trying to destroy. Hallelujah. Remnant, stand up. Remnant, use your authority, but now here's the catch. You can't use your authority unless you walk in authority, unless you are righteous. God says, press of the righteous of valid much. So if you ain't doing right, then you can't do nothing anyway. You ain't got no power. Hallelujah. Tell me what God say. It's time to boot up, soldiers. Praise God. I'll be back on here because I, I got, I got, I'm full, y'all. Whoo, I'm full. I feel the power of God. I'm full. Y'all understand. He just been, just been, whenever there's a, a conference, and, and it's not about, you see, and I got to tell y'all, conferences are not like everybody else. We don't, it's not the entertainment. It is for the power of God because people are hurting. People need to be healed and delivered and set free. That's what it's about. And then after you set them free, pastors, preachers, teachers, you're supposed to lay hands on them and fill them with the Holy Ghost because unless they have the Holy Ghost, they can't do right anyway. Now. Y'all understand why people are tripping. How are you going to release them and then release them with no power? Hallelujah. That's why God says you got to lay hands on them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They must be filled because when they feel, then there's a conversion. When there's conversion, then there's conviction. And when that conviction, now you, you, you start acting right. You start walking right. You start talking right. You start being right. Hallelujah. This stuff real. We do this for real. We don't do this for play. Hallelujah. Nobody trying to be famous. As a matter of fact, you're going to love that next video because God want me to ask y'all a question. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right. So God bless you. God keep you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll out soldiers for that is who we are. God bless.